Okay, Debbie. You got this. Ignore the dangling ones, sweetling. The twitching silken cocoons. The muffled moans. Is that a smartphone? Vibrating and glowing beneath the sticky strands? Their story is over. Scanning. That was... Yikes. Yeah, that's... Holy shit. Destroy this nest of them. Whoa, big one. Tough one, too. Interesting. Our annual report suggested the last of these guys had been made into cowboy hats and hood ornaments. Nice. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Sullivan Island is just full of surprises and death cults. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you got a kick out of bonding with the summer camp. They're on the way out of this modern world. It's planned obsolescence in action. The information age is their ice age. Big feet have a totally depressing look, lack of guile. They look good on paper. Opposable thumbs, superhuman strength, hippie nature power, but we just couldn't make it work for us. And our scientists really tried. KG. There are some implications there. Yeah, there's a lot. Can a bug know humiliation? Oh yes, sweetling. The Akab nuzzled one another underground, healing their wounds, coming out only when hunger forced them. Cloaked in the forgetfulness of years, they became the folklore of the people who had personally fought them. Then came the call, then came the song. The Akab answered ravenously. Found a CDC tablet. All right. Oh, belonging to a certain Mavis Anderson. Mavis Anderson. That name just sounds like someone's grandmother. I think she was doing. She was using these containers. Do you, you sure it's a good idea to just touch something the CDC left lying around? Yeah, I want to. Like, I guess I'll. I can finish her work and then. I mean. Whoa! Lots of them. So I forget, I mean, you can't get sick, right? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I can still experience, like, psychosomatic illness, though. Which, you'd be surprised how many options that leaves open. Yeah, it's, it's a real pisser. Yeah, like, you know... A significant portion of hangover is caused by oh, a dead one, huh? Uh, yeah, is psychosomatic. So, yeah, I kind of, I kind of know what you feel. Like I was, I was actually hung over when I when I got on with you. But then it's just ah. like I, f I mean, I don't know if that's although maybe like maybe being t connected with you did s did something to my hangover. Hmm. Huh. That's that's interesting. But I was. Yeah, that's actually pretty... But I was just noticing that, um... There's a biggin' over there. A what? A biggin'. Oh, yeah. But these are all dead. And I realized something as they got close to this one. It was killing them? Yeah, this is a different brood. Oh. oh. This is a penumbral brood. Those are the Ven Venus brood. Oh, they're territorial. Oh, yeah. maybe that's... Go back and look. Can you go back and look at the Venus ones? Yeah. Uh, that's why they're called that, because they've got the red things. Oh. Ve Venus for blood, penumbral for for dark. Or, no, does penumbral... I don't know what you'd call that. It's kind of a gray. But yeah. yeah. This is a, that's interesting. I think we just, like... See, again, they, they, they are actually territorial against each other. They don't have the same... 
that's something that could be used. Mm hmm. Oh. Why is there a bit of. Why is this hack here? Uh, let's find out. There is a house! It waits! Windows stare like eyes, but these are false eyes! An old cliche! It is the invisible eyes you should fear! The thousand invisible eyes that lick your soul with tongues that are not tongues! You back away! The house waits! A typical 19th century mansion! Tall windows, wide doors, and elaborate ornaments! Time and neglect nibble away! And grim stories fill the cracks. And now, the weather. Wait for the bus in the rain and the rain. Wait for <laughs> the bus in the rain. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that at the end of all of these things, but it's just... Another dead Sasquatch. Oh my... They've been worrying over this. Oh my god, it's so... Just, I wonder if there's a way to help them out. I mean, I think I think we'd help everyone out by killing all these cub. I don't think that's possible. We can try. The Wabanaki pass verbal mythos, tongue to ear of scuttling things. They cast grotesque shapes in their past down recollections, pallid monstrosities in the deepest caves, emerging only in times of great hunger. Or with the proper call. Stories of giant blood-sucking insects, unreliable sightings. Any unsolved disappearance or vanished pet becomes part of the legend. Misbehave to your parents and they will come for you. Torn of wing, misshapen of body and chittering. They move through shadows faster than the light can reach them. Okay, I think I'll bring these samples back to the CDC van. Oh, okay. Mm. Wait... The uh, uh, take a drink. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, weren't we looking for for some stuff down here? Yeah, we were looking for something down here. Um, and that must be uh, it. But there's nothing here. Well, maybe keep going further down the track. Uh, that just leads us right to the mansion. I mean, the other way. No, we came from that way. Oh, well... I mean, I don't know, maybe... Uh, I think I might need to be dead. All right. Let's, I mean, talk to the, uh, talk to ghosts. Okay, yeah, that, they they don't like, they don't like talking to living people. I'll just die over here out of the way so I don't end up, because you know, it gets, it gets kind of, it's kind of annoying <laughs> when you're near your body. Yeah, and you're, when you're dead and near a body, you just feel this like constant tug. You, know, I'll I'll die over here because I really don't want to inconvenience anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, that and that was the past four years of my life. I know how you feel. <laughs> a lot of ghosts here. Yeah. Let's go to the trail. Do you burn calories while you're dead? I don't know. Why would I? I don't know. Just a weird question that popped into my head. I don't. Oh, Whoa. Ghost to Rochi. Okay. Wow. Wow, dude. That is not a. That is just not a dignified way to fly. And it's leading me right back to the house, of course. Oh. That thing said that it feeds on lesser specters, uh -oh. lesser ghosts. Oh. oh, oh. No, okay. Hold on a second. According to official records, she lived. What the? She's fuck? the one we let out. Oh no. Can't remember her name, but according to official records, she lived. Oh. And oh. that's the other thing. Okay, there's two things to be what the fucking about. Yeah. I'm choosing the more subtle one. That you do. You, you do tend to... Yeah. I tend to focus on the more subtle cases of wrongness instead of... The, not like the giant drog spawning dome. 
So, um, it's not hostile, though. Yeah. Wait, can... Or not, never mind. Maybe it can tell you're not really dead or something. What is that sound? I don't know. Do it again. Is it singing? Oh god, the boy's over there. Little boy. Oh no. Remember, he, he was killed by his father. Yeah. Oh god, it's one of these. Oh, by the way, let me see if these are... Okay, let me get the notes. You have a pretty good musical ear. I can't carry Tim, but I can actually... I've, n I've never been able to figure it out. Playing a song backwards, that's what Zelda taught me. <laughs> that that seems oddly simple. Yeah, that was kinda weird. We could have beaten this ghost with a yak back. Has anybody ever accomplished an exorcism from the spirit world? I... Where does that send them? I don't know. You know, that's a question for another time. I think you might want to look into Harriet Braun. Okay. Because that was her ghost. But... According to the record, she's the only survivor. That's uh, that's very disconcerting. Wouldn't be the first time the you know, some the Illuminati made something up. But I'm more worried they might not be making it up and might just be very, very, very mistaken. Oh dear! Oh, oh, that's not good. Bring in a wraith to test the effects of filth on the non-corporeal. Damn. Say what you will about the R&D divisions of the Rochi group, but they've got some massive cojones. I almost feel a small rush of professional envy coming on. But that obviously went right out the window when I saw how hard this thing blew up in their faces. Luckily, we were there to reap the benefits of their hard work. Well played. You're really getting to the spirit of this thing. No pun intended. <laughs> Your current attitude is what... I've been trying to instill in you all along. Maximum reward for minimal effort and without any kind of inconvenient head count to negotiate after the fact. You're in the zone, champ. Keep it up. Your approval fills me with shame. I like that she's just taking credit for everything. Like, oh yeah, the way you are now, that was my secret plan all along. It's all down to me. I'm the hero here. Of course. Pouring out a soy milk for Mavis, but you know what they say curiosity did to the CDC. What I would look for in a research employee is the ability to make an informed judgment call when dealing with giant carnivorous bugs. That doesn't mean you get off. You're on a different skill grade. But, you know, it is so civic-minded of you to salvage their report. In the statistically unlikely event any government agent makes it back to the mainland, they can use the reading material. I mean, they're looking at... Doing ten to life in quarantine. Ciao, ciao. I I don't even have anything for that. I'm just appalled. <laughs> then came Alina Zelikovsky and her friend Francine Sanders. They took advantage of the house's reputation and turned it into an occult hotel. 
Miss Selikovsky's seances attracted the notorious Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Harry Houdini, and H.P. Lovecraft. The deceased still roamed the house, trapped in the 90 degrees of every corner. Miss Selikovsky and Miss Sanders joined them in 1957 via the expedient of a car crash. They were lesbians. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. And her friend, yeah. Le- to- totally lesbians. Yeah, that's... What year was that? Well, Terry Houdini, like, eight, late 1800s, early 1900s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, they must have been like they were. They must have been together for a long time too. Like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of sweet. The bees want me to reach into the Sasquatch chief's secret hidden stump to get my reward. I, I. Uh, you gotta work that squatch, Debbie. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. <laughs> oh, this stump right here. You gotta dig stump through a lot of shady. undergrowth to get to that hidden stump. Yeah, it's a fur. I mean, grass. It's right next to his sacred entrance. Ah! Uh... <laughs> 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 uh. Oh. I got a glyph. A glyph. What's a glyph? What's a glyph? It's what Wiley e. Coyote falls off. Ha ha ha. Okay, I can. That's fierce, oh. girl. That's fierce. Did you just upgrade your hammer with graffiti? With Sasquatch graffiti, yes. Okay, okay, good. The Sasquatch thing, that made it all come together. Uh, Quick access inventory updated. I think I'm, like, feeling something from him. Oh, God. No, not like that. He wants me to... Oh, God! Let me finish. Oh, God! I'm sorry, everything you say... Remind me why I haven't turned you into the Illuminati. Um... Um... Give me a minute. I'll I'll, I'll think of something. (sighs) You know, it's really the... Yeah. I'm having a distressingly hard time thinking. You know what? I'll, I'll, just sh- I'll just shut up now. Good plan. 